वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश ट्वेंटी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज ए फोर्टी मिलीमीटर डायमीटर रॉड इज मेड अप ऑफ मटीरियल हैविंग एलाउबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिम एलाउबल इंटेंसिटी थी नॉट ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द रॉड दैट इज फिक्सड एट पॉइंट ए एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क ऑफ इंटेंसिटी टी नॉट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम एलाइबल इंटेंसिटी टी नॉट ऑफ द टॉर्क सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट इफ डाईमीटर ऑफ रॉड इज डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी मिलीमीटर सो डाईमीटर इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर सो इन मीटर इट इज़ जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो मीटर सो रेडियस सी विल बी इक्वल टू डी डिवाइड बाई टू एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो मीटर clear and we have been given the allowable uh, shearing stress that is 75 mega pascal so what we have to find is we have to find this t not which is uh, maximum allowable intensity maximum allowable intensity of uniformly distributed torque so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, maximum shearing stress is our allowable shearing stress is equal to maximum torque into c divided by j where t is torque c is the radius and j is polar moment of inertia so we will find this maximum torque so this maximum torque which is which can be obtained due to internal loading so i will find that first let me write the maximum internal torque internal torque will be developed developed in the shaft occurs at a because that is the fixed end so you can see this is the fixed end a so what we will do is that you can see this is intensity t not and when this intensity is converted into a point intensity so t not into total length which is Six uh, hundred millimeters. So in meter, it is zero point six meters. So this will be the intensity. Uh, uh, if we convert this uniformly distributed torque into a point torque, so at this end we will have a reaction torque which is equal to T max, and that will be the same as that of this, but in opposite direction. So it is also equal to T naught into zero point six. So we will first. Uh, we will again draw this this is the torque which is having intensity t not into total length which is 600 so it is 0.6 meter and at this we will have a reaction torque at point a which will be equal to t a and that t a will be equal to t max and that is again equal to same t not into 0.6 meter okay so maximum torque at point a is equal to 0.6 meter now you have this value you have c which is 0.02 and we will find the um polar moment of inertia so polar moment of inertia which is represented as j and j for circular shaft having radius uh, our diameter d is represented as pi by 2 d power 4 clear uh, pi by 2 uh, that is uh, c power 4 okay pi by 2 into c power 4 and if you want to have diameter so it will be pi by 32 d power 4 clear so we will use j is equal to pi by 2 c power 4 and that is equal to pi 
over 2 and c is 0 0.02 power 4 so when you solve this you will get j will be equal to 80 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 times pi and unit will be in meter power 4 now we will use uh, this formula ta allowable is equal to ta max torque max into c divided by j just put the value torque is 0 0.6 times t naught so i have missed here this is 0 0.6 t naught and the unit will be in meter clear and c is 0 0.02 divided by j which is equal to 80 into 10 to the power minus 9 multiply by pi and tau allowable given in the question is 75 megapascal so 75 into 10 to the power 6 so from here you will get this t naught will be equal to 75 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by 80 into 10 to the power minus 9 time pi divided by 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.6 so when you solve this you will get t naught will be equal to 1570.80 newton meter per meter or you can see the intensity of torque t naught is 1.57 kilo newton per meter and that is the answer so this was all about problem uh, 5-23 and we have this intensity t naught is equal to 1.57 kilo newton per meter kilo newton into meter per meter and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching